Hey, you know what, guys? Uh, fair play to EA. Uh, they've been actually dropping some pretty cool SPCs and stuff. This promo has been nice. Two different teams, all this SPC content. It's been really fun. I've been enjoying it, to be honest with you. Uh, guys, we have the new David Silva to review, who looks pretty sick, to be honest. Uh, he's five foot eight, high medium work rates, left footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So thank you, EA, for meeting the minimum requirements for uh, how the game kind of plays out. In game player traits, he has the finesse shot traits, he has the outside foot shot trait, technical dribbler, playmaker, all that good stuff. Okay, so the dribbling is strangely formatted a little bit. What is this? This card is it's strangely formatted, but it's one squad. That's the nice thing about it, right? Let me see here. Okay. So, David Silva. And I can't give him anything yet. Foot Ben! Come on! No, I'm just kidding. These guys are these guys are amazing. Okay. Um explosive, dead eye, basic engine, finisher. Finisher. A finisher wouldn't be bad. Because he's still explosive. That's the thing, okay? If I'm playing him in the cam position, the accelerate being explosive is super helpful. I, I genuinely wouldn't mind giving him a finisher. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't. I genuinely wouldn't. But let's see here. So Deadeye, Deadeye gives him a massive shooting boost with passing boost. Hunter chemistry style would boost the acceleration sprint speed while also giving him some shooting stats as well. We have to try him out on the Hunter first. That's the main one. Because if I don't care to improve his dribbling, that's going to be the important thing. Because David Silva has an average body type, right? So that's the main thing that I'm looking at. When it's an average body type, you do want to improve that as much as possible. So a finisher could be super ideal. We'll see. We'll see what the vibes are once I'm trying out the card in game. But um, yeah, we'll try him on a Hunter. Um... Making him explosive. I like explosive a lot. Controlled is also good. It wouldn't be horrible to do that. Because if you gave him a Hawk... Nah. Gotta boost the shooting a little bit more. Marksman's not terrible either. If he's if you want to controlled on him. But we're going to give him a Hunter though. Anyways. Uh, good pace. Good shooting on the Hunter. Passing is going to be in a good area for a card that I do mainly see being played uh, in the cam position. Uh, dribbling stats I'm going to experiment with because the agility is at an 82, but he's five foot eight, so it might compensate really well. We'll see, right? Because he also has the average body type, which compensates less for it, but he has 92 composure as well. Uh, this card actually has defensive capabilities, which is a W, to be honest, because, you know, let's say, for instance, you want to make this card your attacking-oriented center mid. That's not a bad thing to do, right? Like, you guys know I show you guys the tactics for the 4 one 2 and 2 the 4 3 2 one if you have an attacking-oriented left center mid like this card, it wouldn't be horrible because 83 stamina is a decent cutoff, he's a high medium work rate card, and he has both of the shooting traits. So that wouldn't be a horrible option either, okay? He just wouldn't have sliding tackles, but everything else being there would be a W, you know? Um, so yeah, the fact that they gave him defensive stats, that's, that's really nice. Because even in the cam position without you doing anything it should be helpful from time to time like with bernardo silva him having standing tackles i'm telling you guys super helpful but he has the high defensive work rate too you know physical stats doesn't have much which is going to be obvious but he has the 83 stamina okay let's go try uh i'm gonna go get the card first and then we'll try him out okay guys so this is a team that we're gonna be using him in uh that's why it's nice to get first owner cards so that you kind of just slot them right in there um okay let's see what we have here uh, Jota here. Yeah. Instructions is just going to be stay forward for him. I'm going to rotate him between him and the striker. Um, because obviously we need to get like shooting opportunities if we can as well. But yeah, I want to see what his dribbling is like first. Because that's going to be like a big thing for me with the uh, average body type on a hunter. So yeah, let's go try him out, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, that first animation is not good. Uh, I hope that's not a continuous thing. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I'm noticing I'm noticing the average a little bit, but that shot was kind of wild. Oh, uh, did he tip it? Oh, he did tip it. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, kind of get the uh, roulette off there. Nice try. Get the finesse shot angle. 
Oof. Get some venom behind it. I think the L1R1 would be better in those situations, honestly. Dang, man. See, that's why I feel like, you know, a finisher, you know what I'm saying, boys? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that extra touch that Enzo Fati does. No, man. Oh, we did pass by David, though. First time. Nice. Good finish. Good finish. Good finish. I need to keep experimenting with it, though, because I need to know, like, for sure, for sure, you know? And then I might switch to a finisher after. We'll see. Nice. Good twist and turn. Comes off of the angled body feints really nicely there. Okay. All the way to pass there with David Silva again. Oh, man. That was a really good first time lob. Yeah. Passes are nice. The passes are definitely nice for sure. Oh, defensive play. Oh, I tried. A little bit of a sway on that ball there for that situation. Strange one. But I get the uh, the stopped scoop turn there. When your player acts like he's stopped, he can do the scoop turn. Nice finish. Well done, well done. I'm definitely noticing the uh, the average body type with the agility, though. Like, he has that like little bit of a sway on it, for sure. Oh, yeah, imagine that. And we get the penalty. Nice. David Silva, 94. Ooh, okay. Oh, come on. No. Hmm. Almost, almost. Yep. Still a beast. So I guess it's really going to depend because, guys, listen, pace is kind of back with, like, these explosive players and stuff. So giving a Hunter chemistry style is not a horrible thing to give. Like, even that one opportunity where I try to go for a chip, like, he still was able to kind of get past the defenders, you know? Defensive play, okay. Nice. Very good, very good. I, I really want to try him out on the, uh, the finisher, though. I want to see what it's like. Okay, finish your chemistry style this time. Let's do that. I just want to see, like, because of the agility and balance, you know? There it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, the dribbling definitely feels better on the uh, finisher, for sure. Ah, it's always just too much. It's a good run, though. Yeah, those quick little touches and stuff, it's its just no, way more noticeable. It doesn't feel like he's uh, taking extra long to do that kind of stuff. Oh, I probably already worked the angle there. I probably could have done something like going backwards, you know? But you guys can see, man, when he's an explosive player on a finisher, like AI-wise, he's going to get into the positions well enough, you know? Just like food for thought if you, um, you're playing him that way. Oh.
See there, you still notice the average body type, like in those areas. So it might just be one of those things where it's like, you could just like compensate for. Because having the pace is kind of nice as well. Because of the uh, recent patch and stuff, you know? We'll see. See, not having pace, you could see in that situation. So when you're manually using him, right, for those like long distance runs without the pace boost, obviously, you're going to notice it. Then that finisher in those areas, helpful for dribbles. Ah, I got on a green. Maybe I get the right loop on it. Almost got a shot off with his weak foot there. All done under pressure too. Hmm. Okay. That's not like a super high percentage uh, finesse shot to take, by the ways. That's super high. Under pressure. That's like the ball rolled into the player to see what he's like composure wise. Oh, of course he saves that. Oh, I was kind of hoping there was a touch there. Had the scale move off. I was kind of hoping it was more straight when he was doing it, you know? I'll take that. I'll take that. I think for general experience, especially with this recent patch, it's probably going to be a hunter flex. You would just work with the dribbling as it is. Like it's it's kind of like one of those uh, one of those things in my opinion so far. Um, right now, the way I'm feeling with this card, definitely uh, attacking oriented center mid would be really sick uh, in like a four three two one playing that left center mid area. Uh, left attacking mid as well because your dribbling doesn't have to be like as crazy responsive. I like players like Bernardo Silva in the cam position that are a little bit more responsive. But in the cam position, he still has good attacking AI and his shooting does come off pretty decently considering the fact that you're giving him a hunter while working with two of the meta shooting traits, right? There you go. Yeah, general experience, guys. Hunter. AI wise for the pace, on the ball and the pace. Just gotta work with the dribbling as it is. Um, which is not that big of a deal because like you guys know, the dribbling works very differently this year than in, in previous years, right? Like he's not gonna be as responsive as Bernardo Silva, but it's not horrible to work with. Nice. See, it's to get into those positions quickly. Nice try, nice try. Oh, that's not enough power. Yo, EA, you know, you know what you did to Ribery? You know what you did to Ribery? Let, let, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Okay. Let me show you real quick. Okay. So the 90, right? You see the difference that you did there to, to, to the, to the 10, you know, see the 10 right there. It's that big boy difference on the 10, maybe even the reactions too, you know, let's do the same thing to that David Silva card. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, this card, it's just here. Here's the situation, right? So. I, I like the card on the Hunter. I think it's nice. Uh, explosive for a Hunter makes the most sense. What you will notice sometimes, though, uh, for your build-up play and all that kind of stuff, is going to be the agility with the average body type, right? You're going to feel that sometimes when it comes to your general build-up. Here's the thing, guys. Um, the way that this game performs in general, you don't care about that as much as you did in previous years because dribbling works differently in general this year. Now, what I will say is that I do still prefer a Bernardo Silva type of cam where it's more responsive, right? But it's a little bit different because Bernardo Silva, right? Even if I were to just go to the rare gold version of the card, you guys know I use this card all the time. His dribbling stats is in a very high area. He's five foot eight at a lean body type. So he's more responsive in regards to that kind of stuff, right? Um, but 
That is the only concern of David Silva, because the fact that he has both of the meta shooting traits, the fact that he has the four star weak foot on this card, right? Four star skill moves gets into good positions in the right times, right? You know, with the explosive accelerate on the card on a hunter chemistry style, it still worked out fine. It's just the general buildup. Sometimes you have to work with. So you have to kind of utilize your L1 R1 dribbling a little bit uh, to kind of get him going. I wish that EA themselves were to boost his agility and reactions a little bit more uh, for base card stats like they did to the Rebri card. It was a huge difference for the Rebri card compared to the Rule Breakers in regards to that in-game performance for dribbling, right? Um, but I like this SBC for the concept of what it is. It's not an expensive SBC. You only have to submit one squad to get. Uh, and it is a cam to use for the Liga Santander players. I'm just saying that sometimes you have to work with the dribbling from time to time. But generally speaking, uh, the shooting comes off pretty decently. If you work high percentage strikes as much as possible, um, I didn't mind it whatsoever. The pace, I feel like it's nice to give, especially after this patch. Like the explosive players with good pace, good shooting capabilities, they're very noticeable in game. Using his attacking AI to get into those positions quickly is what you're going to want to work with. But here's the thing again, guys, like I was mentioning earlier, if your decision is to use a card like this in the left attacking mid position that offers you some defensive capabilities, that's great, right? You can see that he actually defends from time to time for me, which is awesome. Um, if you have the intention of using him as your left center mid in the attacking area, that would be fine too. You don't care about dribbling as much when it's in the midfield position, you know what I'm saying? Or even in the left attacking mid position, but main area through the middle like cam striker, you would care about it a little bit more. So for me, I like the SBC. I feel like they could have done a little bit better with it, maybe priced a little bit lower uh, for how he kind of performs in game because of the way that the dribbling is. But EA, I like you guys releasing these SBCs. It's better than you releasing nothing. You know, like I like this. I like this, especially with all the fodder that you could potentially collect. Right. So just got to work with the left stick a little bit with the agility and average body type, but very good at everything else, in my opinion. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are or hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.